Welcome back to my fully custom King Cab creation conclusion. It all began while making another custom, the Peterbilt Frankenhauler. Here we see the remainder of the ambulance I used to extend my newly acquired cab. Enthused, I put the hauler aside and proceeded forward with the creation. I used a plastic bed off a broken old NASCAR truck that I had since I was a kid. I also used the frame. I JB welded the three pieces together but the problems just began. After testing out paint techniques I came to the conclusion that Spectre Flame style light coats without primer would give the look and color that I desire. However the plastic bed looked horrendous under the paint compared to the metal body. So I decided to change it to a metal bed. I had to widen the fender tubs to fit my drag racing wheels off a 69 charger which I achieved using tape and JB weld I also used the grill from my donor truck the trail boss next I removed the post from the middle of the windshield using wire cutters I created running boards using JB weld so I decided to make rear fenders using the same method I chose not to cut windows in the crew cab because I plan to use that space for some decals I also like the way the body lines look. After taping the general shape of the fenders I wanted and securing it to the body so it wouldn't move, I began the sloppy process of applying the JB Weld. I transported to my bake booth where it cured for a couple hours. I used different grit metal files to sand to shape. I decided to paint it emerald green metallic with black and white stripes. However, when I went to remove the tape from the last set of stripes, it peeled and it ruined the paint. So I had to remove the paint and start over again. So now we're up to the third paint job, which turned out pretty good. Except for the fact that I went one layer of paint too much, covering the specter flame effect that I was after. So here I am. More stripping, more prepping, more buffing, more paint. Is this thing ever going to end? I've had it with this thing. My eagle almost took flight. But I decided to paint the fenders and the running boards black and the body green. I ordered some decals online for the Philadelphia Eagles tailgrading truck that I plan to make if I can ever get it finished. Now if you notice here, the paint on the hood's gone. Well, I applied some decals to the hood and I didn't like the way they looked. So upon gently removing them, I guess I rubbed a little bit too hard and it made the slightest little flaw in the paint. So I just removed the paint from the hood. The decals needed a light background anyways, so it was a win-win. I removed the paint from the bed cover that I made out of the roof of the ambulance. A lot of clear coat. And yeah, there you can kind of see the specter flame. You can barely see the Eagles logo on the dark door that was for a light background. I'm just waiting for some more decals. They were supposed to be here yesterday. That's the reason why this video is taking so long to put out. Besides all the other setbacks, I do have the windshield which I made from the, the plastic on a Hot Wheels car case. Overall, I'm really happy with this build, except for the fact that I haven't got my other set of decals yet. But just like the Philadelphia Eagles, I think I chose the perfect team for this build because I fought and fought and fought through disaster and adversity trouble and in it seemed like anything that could go wrong did go wrong but I kept pushing through and I will say that I am really happy with this build so here it is Friday night while waiting for my other set of decals to arrive I decided to do another vehicle I painted the 68 Copo Camaro you may have noticed from earlier in the video white with black and green racing stripes since my decals called for a light colored background. I used the wheels from that 
pesky old NASCAR truck that gave me so many problems. I painted the interior white and put a decal on the rear window. Thank you for watching. Please like my videos if you enjoyed what you've seen. Please subscribe if you want to see more. Also leave a comment if you wish. I will respond in a timely manner. Thank you One Stop Decal Las Vegas for actually sending the items that I bought.